for Hockey Town fans, well, they've been talking about the Red Wings up and down kind of playoff stumbles and striving to get back to the playoffs. Yeah. But that's not all that's happening. Yeah, this morning we've got some good news, some big news. Let's bring in Nick Monticelli live to explain. Nick, we've got a legend returning. Apria, yeah, so the big news we announced about 30 minutes ago is that Vladimir Konstantinov, part of that 97 Stanley Cup championship team, and then, of course, hurt in that limo crash, is returning to the ice, this ice here at Big Boy Arena in Fraser later this month for a charity game. It's a huge story. You can watch it right now and click on Detroit.com. But I want to introduce you to the team of people that's making that happen. So we're going to start over here with Kim Yor. Kim has a program that helps athletes who are different abled, right? And sure. y your program is so inspiring. What's it like for you to, to have this program and to have Vladdy train underneath you and your, your staff? Right. Well, it, I came into fruition for, because of my son being special needs. And um, I wanted to provide... Um, uh, resources and access for any child or adult um, to be part of something so and then when I met Derek it was just kind of one part of the sled hockey team with Bell Tire it was just one of those things that it fell in place and just um, he came up with the idea of asking for Vladdy to came out and then Joe down there just put it, made all the phone calls and put it together so my dad just recently passed away and one of the things that he inspired me to always do is be part of something and give um, experiences and to be able to give this experience to uh, Vladimir Konstantinov, to have a second chance on the love of the game and to be part of something, maybe part of a, a new fraternity for him and for other athletes in the sled hockey and other venues to have a fraternity or sorority to feel like they, um, they belong. They belong, yeah, yes, right, exactly. Right. So whether it's my son or Constantina for other athletes like them. It's I love that. And, and it's a great story for other athletes yeah. to know they can do it. You mentioned Derek, uh, Coach Derek on that from the, the Bell Tiger side hockey team. Uh, what is it like for you to have somebody like, I don't know, Vladimir Constantina on your team? Uh, to be honest, having a Stanley Cup champion really uh, boosts my ego a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, no, it's it's great having him out there. I got into the sport for the same reason Tim did. My daughter has special needs as well. So growing up a hockey fan, growing up a Red Wings fan, being young when everything happened with Vladdy, it, it's it's surreal to be a part of something that gives back to him, gets him back on the ice, and, and not just for him, but he's got fans on the team too right. so what i was going to ask you too this probably helps elevate the sport of sled hockey as well i mean just watching your other players on the ice they were stoked yeah they uh they definitely when the rumor was kind of spreading around that he was going to hop back on the ice with them everybody was getting excited and um you know making sure that we treat him like a teammate I'm like this. This isn't like like you don't have to be a fan right now. You can be a teammate. Get him out there, play with him. Can you check him into the boards? Oh right. heck yeah! Why not? It's, <laughs> it's full, full contact. That, that, if, yeah, yeah, exactly. Vladdy's gonna hit you back if if you uh, if you dish it out. You better be ready to take it. Right, so. All right, Derek. Thank you so much. Next on the line here is John Pastor from the GH Pastor Foundation. Your foundation is the one that's putting together this entire charity game between the sled hockey game at 12:15 on the 27th and the alumni game at two. Can you talk more about the charities because that. that that's kind of getting lost in this announcement right now. This whole thing between Vladdy and the rest of the alumni is really all about the kids that are benefiting, right? Yes, and I couldn't be prouder to actually start this foundation. And this is our second game, as you know. Uh, the foundations that, or the charities that we're working with is the Children's Miracle Network. We also have autism, Down syndromes, and epilepsy. Those are the charities that we're working uh, with to help um, kids across you know Michigan and across the United States. Yeah. Remember, this isn't the only game. Next year, we're talking to Toronto Maple Leafs and the Montreal Canadiens. And more importantly, we think we're going to try and get the sled hockey game on each one of those as well. So yeah. that's what we're working towards. You know, it's obviously great to have Vladdy a, a part of this. And the underlying tone here is that people are going to come to this game, whether it's for Vladdy, whether it's for the alums. And at the end of the day, this is all helping those kids. There's no doubt about it. And I heard something that I think he'll be back. <laughs> as in Vladi, so we're all excited about that. Um, and without the help of my son, um, my partner Dante, and uh, Joe, who's done a lot of work with this. Just wearing the wrong hat, though. Well, of course he is, but <laughs> that, was, uh, that was for Sean Belisian, so we had to make sure that we represented him. I don't know why. He's a state guy, too. So, um, But, yeah, it, with all the um, alumni guys that are coming and their love for the game and our love for the game and stuff and be able to put this together and actually be able to donate to charities and stuff. 
that's what we're, that's what we're here for. That's it. Okay, John, thank you very much. We appreciate your time. Pleasure. Derek and Kim, thank you so much. Uh, if you want to come to the game, of course, that's the number one thing right now. Again, the game, April 27th, right here at Big Boy Arena. We have all the information and a link to buy tickets on our website at clickondetroit.com. Right now, you can buy your tickets. There's plenty available which be between suites and tabletops and front row against the glass. Plenty of options. And if you can't make it to the game, we're going to stream the entire game, both games, sled hockey and the alumni game, on Local 4 Plus right here. So plenty of options you can't miss out, Jason and Priya. All, All right. right. Jinx. Jinx. Oh. Show's so a second over. too late. Show's over. <laughs> yeah. uh, also this morning, uh, a really inspiring story of a Red Wings alum making his return to the ice for the first time in nearly 30 years. F frankly, the story of the day in your week. 100%. Nick Monticelli is live in Frazier this morning with the exclusive story. And Nick, this is going to have so many of us talking. Yeah, it really is. So the big announcement uh, about an hour ago now, Vladimir Konstantinov returning to the ice playing in a charity game right here at Big Boy Arena in Frazier. I'm joined now by Joe Neville, who is one of the organizers of the entire event and kind of instrumental in getting Vladdy back on the ice. How did this come to fruition? Was this an idea? Did you have to convince them to do this? Well, originally I got the call from Kim Muir to see if it was possible. And then I said, well, let me make a, a couple calls and see if there's any interest on Vladdy's side. Yeah. So. My initial call was met with a little bit of, not resistance, but... Um, can we do this? Can we do it? Can yeah. he do it? Yeah. Upper body strength, because I actually tried sled hockey, and it's... <laughs> it's hard. <laughs> it is not easy. <laughs> um, so so then I, we let it... I just kind of took it as a no. And then I just let it go for a little bit, and then it just kept gnawing at me. I said, it, it just... It was too quick of a no. It just... So I made... I started with the higher-ups with his organization, his, his team, and it came, it just was, yeah, let's do this, let's do this, yeah. I'll give you this person's name, call them, call them, and I just went right down the line, and everybody was excited about it, they wanted to do it, and then we finally spoke with Tim, his physical therapist, and he said, let me do, do a little due diligence and let me talk to him and see, and it just, I got a call back, and was, they were almost crying on the phone. Well, speaking of, you were at practice. I was there with you. I mean, we were standing there crying. I, I, it, was, it was crazy. It was just so emotional, and, and you just see the smile. Did you remember this, yeah. when he, he got in the sled, you guys were pulling him onto the ice, and it's just all of a sudden this huge smile, and then hitting the pucks around, and it's just that changed it right there. We knew, and he only went on for like remember like five minutes or, or something like that. And then, but it was the second. A time guy like Vlad doesn't have to play, practice long, right? <laughs> okay, I want to bring in Brian from CCM because you know Vladdy hasn't played for you know about thirty years, so he needed some gear. You guys made it possible to give him brand new stuff. Uh, and the skate is actually not really a skate; it's more of a boot thing. Yeah. So essentially, uh, majority of the gear transitions uh, back and forth from uh, from regular ice, obviously sled. But the, the biggest transition is taking, making sure we take off the holders and the steel on the ice or on the boot itself. And, uh, and it's a boot only, so it obviously fits inside the sled. Yeah, yeah. And then you've got the helmet and gloves for him. You know, what is it like for you to be a part of something like this where you're helping get Vladimir Konstantinov back on the ice? It, it's unbelievable. I, I grew up playing, uh, playing ice hockey at uh, Big Boy Ice Arena and uh, grew up a Red Wings fan and, and, and obviously transitioning now to being able to work for a leading uh, ice hockey manufacturer. Yeah. When I got the call from Joe, it was one of the things, it was one of the easiest yeses I've ever yeah. said in my yeah. life. So Your mustache curled up a little bit, right? I, I tell you what, <laughs> it is, uh, yeah, extra wax in it this morning. Yeah. So. All right, Brian, thank uh. you so much. I do want to point out one thing, that when the game is happening on uh, the 27th, right here at Big Boy Arena, the ticket sales are going to help the GH Pastor Foundation, and that foundation is helping kids all over much of Detroit, the Children's Miracle Network, autism, and so much more. There's also also going to be a lot of raffles happening and some of those raffle items right here in front of us just take a look at this you've got one from Dino Cicerelli signed by the entire team or and I think Jason might want this one check this out Alex DeVecchio just signed within the past couple of days right so Alex just signed this I don't know Jason me you might have to come to this game and bid on this one right here you know, I don't know. Did I share that? I saw, I met him once and saw a magic trick where he signs a, a playing card and they do the magic trick and I ended up with the playing card. So I have an Alex Del Vecchio autograph. Isn't that, isn't that oh. funny? But I would love to have the jersey. You went a little breathless there when you said that. I know, I did. <laughs> Nick's going to grab it for me, aren't you, Nick? <laughs> He's like, no. no. Problem. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what a good story that yeah, is, too. Yeah, it really is. We could talk about it all morning.